everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a really fun card for you today featuring the Catch You Later stamp set that is in the current um, spring mini catalog from Stampin' Up. I'm also pulling in some things that are on the last chance list. Uh, the last chance list is while supplies last, so hopefully by the time you see this video, those items are still available. And I'll let you know what we're using as we go. Um, we're gonna start by stamping our adorable little cat. And I've got a piece of thick basic white and I'm gonna stamp the little cat and the fish in memento black. And then we're gonna color that in with some Stampin' Blends. So I'm gonna stamp right in the middle of my cardstock so that we can cut that out in a minute. All right, so I'm gonna start with my cat and I'm gonna use light pumpkin pie. Uh, we don't have a cat, but I've always said that if we got a cat, I'd want it to be an orange cat. So, of course, I'm going to start with the orange color for our cat. So I'm just going to use light pumpkin pie. And I'm going to give him just kind of a full coating of color going all the way around, being careful not to color in his eyes. Leave those white. I'm also going to leave the fish bowl. Um, we're gonna come back and add some light color to that in a minute, but I just wanna focus on the cat first, the full, the full section of the cat, if you will. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark, and I am assuming the light is shining from the top, so that means we're gonna have some dark down here. And see where all those little lines are? You wanna add dark there. I'm also gonna go around the fish bowl because that would kind of create a shadow and then up the tail a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back with my light pumpkin pie and I'm gonna blend that color, that darker color in so that it's not such a hard edge. All right. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm gonna take the light, whoops, not the water. Oh no, I colored the water. There's no orange water in there. That's all right, we'll go over it in a second. I'm gonna use the light to color in the cat that's behind the fish bowl. All right, let's close up our markers. We're gonna color our fish with um, Flirty Flamingo, dark, like that. I've grabbed my color lifter. Let's see if we can remove some of that color from the fishbowl. I'm gonna let it dry for a second and we'll come back and color that water. Let's see how that works. I also have um, cut out a pumpkin pie tailor-made tag and I am going to stamp some fish on it. Um, the fish are from this stamp set called Seascape and it is on the last chance list. So I'm just gonna stamp these fish kind of like they're swimming across. I'm gonna vary where I stamp them so that they're not all like in a perfect line. I wanted to bring in the fish from the cat, you know, looking at the fish bowl. All right, there we go. Now I also have a little sneak peek. This is a shape cut with new dies that will be available in May. They are the stylish shape dies. If you have been missing our stitched shape dies, these are gonna be a great uh, substitution. This is a stitched banner cut in pale papaya. Let's see if I can stamp it straight. There we go, you're just perfect. All right, let's come back. It does look like it has removed some of it. So let's go over it with our light pool party and fill that water in. Let's go over it now with the dark. I think maybe we need the dark. There we go, that is much better. All right, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna cut out a bunch of things. So let me bring over my cut and emboss machine. Um, we're, the first thing we're gonna do is cut the cat from a switch, <laughs> stitched So Sweetly dies. These are on the last chance list. And these are some of my favorite dies we've ever had. Um, I'm really sad to see them go. Um, at the time that I made this video, I checked right before I started making the video and they are still available if you don't have them. 
Um, I also say, you know, sometimes you need two sets of dies. If you make a lot of um, multiples of things, sometimes it's nice to have two of one of your favorite dies. I do that a lot. Um, when I have a die that I use constantly and I'm doing lots of swap cards or, um, you know, just mass producing things, I like to have two sets. All right, here's another set of dies that are retiring, the Stitch Triangles. These are really fun. I did a whole Facebook Live on things you can do with the Stitch Triangles. If you don't have them, you need to check that out. It's really cool. We're, we're going to cut a Flirty Flamingo pennant or banner with this one. Now we're going to do a little bit of embossing. And um, the embossing folder that I'm going to use first is a thick embossing folder. So we have to remove all of those plates. And you want to bring in this plate number four. It comes with your cut and emboss machine. It's for the thick embossing folders. And I'm using the Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. This one is retiring also. Last chance list. I love this embossing folder. All right, run that through. It just adds some subtle texture to your cardstock. This is a piece of pale papaya. Um, it makes it textured cardstock, which is fantastic. All right, now I'm using one of our slim um, embossing folders. This is the dots and checks. And I'm gonna put this in here like this. This is a stitched rectangle I cut out from a uh, pool party. And this time, this one is not a thick embossing folder. So you're gonna put back plate number two, put this down, and then use plate number four. And if you forget this, those sandwiches that you need to make, just look right on the, on the plates and it will tell you. All right, I think we've got all of our, our cutting and embossing done. So let's move that out of the way and bring over our card base. We're gonna start with our pale papaya piece and I am gonna just adhere this down flat on a thick basic white card base right there. And then we'll start layering these. And of course, I love dimensionals, so we're gonna use lots of dimensionals. Let's add several. We're gonna do our pool party stitched rectangle right there, kind of in the upper left corner. And then I'm gonna put these kind of more on the right side of my um, tag so that it's overlapping and it's even with this one. And I'm gonna put that down kind of like that towards the bottom right corner. Then we'll get our cat. And I'm gonna put the dimensionals right here on the tag. And we're gonna put that like, let's see, a little bit like that. All right. And then we want our sentiment. We'll put that on. now. Yes, I like to use dimensionals, as you can see. You're gonna need probably a little bit of extra postage if you send this in the mail. But I think it's worth it. Okay, now let's add on our little banner pennant. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of Tombow. Just a little bit, a dot is a lot, as I used to tell my kindergartners. And we'll put that right across there. Um, and last but not least, let's add some embellishments. I have some adhesive backed rhinestones and we'll add a few of these around like that. Maybe put one down here and another one right there. All right, and you can't, you can't leave this card without a bow. So I've pulled out the pool party sheer ribbon now all the measurements and the complete supply list is on my blog. This is a Facebook Friday project, so there will be a free PDF as well as two other Catch You Later projects. So make sure that you check those out. Click the link here on YouTube, go back over to my blog, and you'll find them. I will have a total of five Catch You Later projects for you. And there you go. That card is so fun. You're just perfect. There's lots of reasons you could send that card, I'm sure. 
Um, and the little cat looking at the fish is just really fun. All right, you guys, make sure you hop back to my blog, check out the post, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.